Mr. David Quenwell, welcome to this interview. How are you feeling? Great, great. It's yeah? been a, a big week for the team, obviously. Um, you know, obviously we would like to have Tuesday, but getting those Thursday and Saturday wins like we did, um, we're really building in a good direction right now. Yeah, we, we started off with the, uh, with the HV game. Uh, one point there, uh, felt like we could have taken them all. But uh, Thursday and uh, Saturday, is it the best games of the season for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I think definitely the most complete games. Um, you know, I think early in both games we kind of had to weather the storm a little bit, and that's you know pretty common with teams coming out that fast. Um, but we've done a great job responding. Um, you know, we're kind of getting contributions from all lines, um, power play scoring, penalty kill scoring. Um, just been like a perfect storm of games this last couple of weeks. So, um, like I said, we're really building in the right direction, and and uh, this last week was you know it was to show for it, which was great. Yeah, and uh, we're not actually standing here because we want to talk about uh, the games we played because we're talking about your new contract with uh, IK Oskarshamn. Yeah. Two years. Yeah, two years. I'm really excited. Um, you know, big vote of confidence from, you know, Frobes and, and Martin. Um, you know, I, I've loved my time so far in Oskarshamn and it's been amazing. Um, and, you know, to have that option to come back for two more was uh, a, a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm really excited to be here and I definitely believe in the direction we're going. Um, you know, I think every year since I've been here, obviously, this is year number two, but we're definitely building something better. Uh, every year's gotten better and better, and uh, like I said, I think we're just looking to build, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Yeah, because uh, that was actually my next question. How We started off with you as a player. How have you changed, developed uh, during your two years in Sweden and Oskarshamn? Yeah, I think, you know, early. I remember my early days... Uh, you know, in Oscar Sham and, and just trying to find my way and kind of getting used to a new team again. First time overseas was, was a little different for me, um, but I think it's been great. You know, I've ended up meeting a lot of my greatest friends here in Oscar Sham and uh, we've had such a great time, you know, on and off the ice, you know, um, you know, enjoying the city, but also winning big games, you know, that playoff run. Last year was huge for us. Um, so like I said, it's, it's really exciting to be here for two more and um, to be committed to the core is, it's a great feeling. Yeah, because, uh you know, we're a small city in a big league, a small team. Um, how has that infected your, you know, view of uh, this team and this city, you know, playing a small town? Yeah, you know what, I love it. I mean, I, I played junior hockey in, in a smaller city um, in Medicine Hat, Alberta, which I think was 80 or 90,000, and yeah. it was the best time of my life. You know, I really enjoyed it, and um, I really love that community atmosphere. Um, where, you know, you're going for coffee, you're... You're going out for dinner and you're saying hi to people, uh, you know, frequently that you get to meet throughout the city, and you know, it's it's been so fun, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to these next two. Yeah, because it, it, for the, you know players from United States and Canada coming to to Sweden, it might feel like they're not a part of the community. It's hard to get into the community, but it feels like you have you know been open to be a part of Oscar's home. Is yeah. that correct to assume? hundred percent, hundred percent. Like I said, I, I've really enjoyed my time here. I've gotten to know a lot of people, uh, you know, at the rink, but also away from the rink. Mm. Um, you know, two years is a long time. And, and when you're able to go for dinner, like I said, and, and meet different people and, and meet people that support the club uh, or people that are just working everyday jobs in Oscar's home, you know, it's been, uh, it's been awesome. Um, and, you know, I do really feel part of the community and I think that had a, a huge part to play in we wanted to come back for two more and mm -hmm. um, you know like I said I, I'm just so excited yeah I hope uh, that many you know people that support the team uh, can feel some you know pride in that uh, that players coming here enjoy the time here not just the hockey you know yeah 100 percent I, I think I've had a lot of conversation with Pat about this especially um, even last year you know I think this is a great place and, and we don't ever get enough credit for for how great of a city this is and, and how great our, our team is becoming and what we're building to um, but you know that's kind of the vibe we've always dealt with here you know we're, we're kind of that underdog mentality and, and we're going to continue to ride with that but at the same time um, you know I think we're all having a lot of fun and, and we're all enjoying being here and I think that's the biggest thing when you're when you're having fun playing hockey uh, it makes the job so uh, so easy so it's uh, like I said it's great yeah uh, congrats to the new contract and I'm really happy to, to have you for two more years here in Austin. Thank you guys, I appreciate it.